Hi friends, today we will see about Lerys syndrome, otherwise known as iotoiliac occlusive disease. It's a form of central artery disease involving the blockage of the abdominal aorta as it transitions into the common iliac arteries. The characteristic symptoms include inability to maintain penile erection, fatigue of the both lower limb, uh, intermittent bilateral claudication with ischemic pain, diminished or uh, absent femoral pulses along with the pallar or coldness of the lower extremities. Patients with peripheral artery disease are more prone to have Lerys syndrome and atherosclerosis is the main cause of peripheral artery disease. Atherosclerosis is an extraordinary degenerative complex disease with no known single cause. However, there are many variables to contribute to the development of atherosclerotic lesions. According to studies, it occurs as a response to the arterial wall injury. There are factors known to be injurious to the arterial wall. Mechanical factors such as uh, hypertension and low wall shear stress. And chemical factors such as hyperglycemia, nicotine, hyperlipidemia and homocysteine. It's an amino acid mostly coming from eating of red meat. Now let's see how it happens. So here is the process. The whole process we can divide into three stages. Fatty streak development, plague progression, the third one is plague disruption or occlusion of blood vessels. As I said before, the lipid accumulation begins in the smooth muscle cells that occurs as an inflammatory response to the endothelial injury. Uh, there are many factors such as chemical and uh, mechanical factors are responsible for this injury. Then after this injury, the inflammatory response, then the fatty streak begins to form in the endothelial arterial wall. The atheroma consists of differing compositions such as cholesterol, cholesterol esters, and triglycerides. Here, some plaques are unstable, and the fissure occurs on the surface of the plaque that expose the circulating platelets to the inner elements of the atheroma. Here. Then the platelet aggregation then stimulated. The platelet binds to fibrin uh, through the activation of glycoprotein 2B, glycoprotein 3A. And the fresh blood clots form in the area of plaque breakdown. These unstable plaques are prone to atheromatous embolization or propagation of clot that eventually can occlude the arterial loop. All blood vessels will be blocked. Then how is diagnosed? Diagnosis is done by uh, proper physical examination, doing uh, angle brachial index, proper history taking, uh, Doppler study, then CT angio. Then the treatment. Treatment is depends on the severity of the occlusion. If it is mild, smoking cessation, uh, proper exercise, proper dieting, uh, treat hypertension, treat dyslipidemia, and uh, control the diabetes. And if it is severe, surgical management. The traditional surgical management for the iotoiliac occlusive disease are uh, iotoiliac endarterectomy and uh, ioto bifemoral bypass. For the high risk patient, to avoid abdominal surgery, we can prefer to go for uh, angioplasty and stenting. Finally, the prognosis. The outcomes are similar for endarterectomy and bypass. The long term patency for the graft is excellent too. It is 80 to 90 percent by 10 years. If the patient is not smoking. If the patient is smoking, it may fall to 50%. I hope you enjoyed my class. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.